So hi guys, see you again from this little place there, Seat Carrier Drum Shop, talking about the Roland SPD SX, this little baby here. So we, this is the second video, the first video I showed you on the computer about getting the files out of here onto the computer and the reasons why you need to possibly look at this because it comes with this little thing, a two gigabyte SD card in there. So it simply can't stock enough memory for you to put back in tracks and sequences in for the full set list. It just doesn't have the capacity. So we're gonna change now this from two gigabyte to 16. <clears throat> Some people have chosen to go 32. No one has recommended going above 32 gigabytes, but some have rec recommended um, 32 or have said they've gone to that far. But the, the next version of this app, the Roland SPDS XS Special, which is a red case, is 16 gigabytes. So, you know, saves a lot of money to upgrade one of these with Lamb to try and change it. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay. So again, I have to say, guys, if you want to do what I'm doing here, this is down to you and your risk. Uh, it's not so bad after all, but it is your risk whether you want to do it because I don't know how good you are uh, at this sort of thing or if you're good at any sort of DIY whatsoever. All I know <coughs> is that for £550 worth in the UK when this video was made, that's a lot of money for something that is of no use to, to, to anybody. Okay, this is good as a chocolate kettle. Right then, so when you first of all turn this upside down, you would, should find most of them will have this little baby on there. So if you have got the mounting clamp on there, guys, there are four screws, okay? So unscrew them and take the clamp off because underneath that clamp, you will now see there are two holes and within those holes are all of your screws, including down the back there. So you've got four, eight, 12, 16 screws that you've got to take out. So you can use a little screwdriver, zoop that way, and um, you know, like a little impact driver, electric screwdriver, one of them, or one of them. So that's what I've done. I've already taken all the screws out. So I've only got the one left, so I'll do it by hand. I think I only did one, guys. Let's just check, yes. So there she is, dum de dum de dum nah. and dum de dum and screw falls out. Let's put them in a little pot, out of the way, put my clamp there, and my little pot there, and they're all done. So that is now free. Now then, on the back of the Roland SPDSX, I would also take out the two little gubbins that fit on there to hold the leads. So if I try and get that to focus for you, see, there's one attached here, and the other one is clipped underneath there. Take them off as well, because they will get in the way. And also, you have a little, little thing, which is your gain button. Okay, now that is fiddly, but that needs to pop off as well. So just get in there and prise that off the best you can, which is the gain button there. All right, so it's completely free now. No screws in it whatsoever. Gain button off, and the two little wire clips, they've also come off as well. This is where the fun starts, guys. Now you would think you'd just be able to release 16 screws, you'd be able to pop off, it doesn't. It's a real stinker at the back of the Roland here. It really has got a, an unusual way of, of being clipped in. So what I did is to pop the front up first, and you notice, look, it's sticking. It's sticking bad there now, so I sort of put it onto its side, and I just gently, cracked it and you've got to be patient with this guys and you've somehow just got to find out where its point is there she goes again sometimes this way around and you've got to keep on wiggling it and it will eventually release itself from there and it's just like no easy way there she goes maybe you can make a comment if you've done this and you found an easier way but she's out now see it so you release it and lift it out. Now it's fiddly again because the gain switch is still in the way here as it's sticking out. Can you see that guys? So what you've got to do, <clears throat> you've just got to be a little bit patient. Now you will notice the wires are very, very tight inside. Just be a little patient and there she is and she's off, okay? 
squeeze it gently and it'll pop out. When you go to lift it off, you will notice there's a little motherboard and all that there, but there's also some underneath. So the problem you now have, if I was to turn it, is these cables that are running, look how short they are. So you can't physically get in there to change the card or to find it. If you're really careful, make sure you know which one is which. You can just gently hold on to them and you can pop them out. And now look, it frees it up, see that? So I tended to take that one out, knowing there's only one way that can go because they're in a pattern. And then I have a little look at this and I popped, personally, I popped these off as well in the past. So I may look at that and mark them and just do a front and a back. And I just very, very gently lift them out, one and two. And I know the one with the sh number one is at the back there. And there's an, a little bit of a VS at the front. As long as you mark and tell yourself. But it's obvious anyway, look, as you lay it down, front and back. Now that allows you to drop that off completely. Remembering these are not that bad. They're just these little sort of banded uh, wire systems and they just pop back in, just like a computer slot, really. You can see them there. I wouldn't strip them all off, for sure. Just make sure you, you mark them. Or, as you lift, take a photograph. <clears throat> I can't do that because I'm talking to you. Take a photograph there to show you. Pop the first one. Take another photograph, pop the next one, another photo. So whatever happens, you've got a reference point to come back if you are nervous about the slots, okay? Um, the next thing to realise in actual fact is that if you were to look at the slots here, so you can't go wrong putting it back into place. If I was to show you this, that one is shorter than that one anyway. I don't know what these are called, guys. I don't do uh, uh, electronics. Okay, so that's a little bit smaller than that one. So you're not going to go wrong. And that one was obvious anyway. So where's the SD card? <clears throat> well, she's not in there. She's actually in here. So you want the bottom of the SPDSX. And there it is there. Okay. Now, I've already gone through this process and I've already changed it. So just be aware of it. Okay. What I would suggest... This is very important. You get your new SD, um, SD card, or if you've got an, an, an older one, maybe you could take a chance on that, it's up to you. But get a little card reader, <coughs> pop your SD card into that, connect that to the computer, and check what's on there, just in case, and make sure you do a system clean thing, you know, where you just check the, d the, the disk, it'll have a look and say there's no problems, and make sure there's not a single file on it. I did make an error that I had some music files from Roland before I did a factory reset and that messed up a little bit, okay? So it wasn't the end of the world, but take that out, put it in the computer. This would be your 16 gigabyte now. Clean it, make sure there's nothing whatsoever. Pop it back out and then you're ready to go, okay? So although that's the two, yours would be the 16. So you're clean as a whistle with a blank memory card. Now, there's a steel clip there. Do you see the, the little blobs of glue? They're all over the place on the SPDSX. Look, there and there. Obviously, because you're hitting the thing, they obviously put pockets of glue throughout. You'll also notice, look, they're all over the place here as well. <clears throat> Nothing to worry about. All you've got to do with that glue, if you've got a little bit of nail just be very careful you obviously you wouldn't scratch or damage and just very gently scratch away and it'll come off then what you do is you push this clipper forward and she'll just simply pop open take your drive out put your new one in push the clip make sure this clip back down and i used a tiny little bit of um like like no nails type thing i just got a little bit of that spit dabbed it on my finger and just sealed it back in okay so just to reiterate, guys, clean the glue, pop, just put your nail behind there and push that. She'll pop open, take your card out, put the other one in exactly the same place. Like There's only one way it can go. Spit a glue on there, job you done, click it down, finished. And that's all you've got to do. Now that is a 16 gigabyte memory. And that'll take a fair few songs. So all I'm going to do now is 
do the reverse of what we did earlier. Remember then the two bands are for the two and the single band all on its own look is going towards the back of the machine or if you like the front actually and that's that one there. So let's just click it back together again. And again it's a little fiddly because there's no room in them. Okay, so I'm just going to lift that over, get it ready. Don't worry about clicking it in, whatever you do. Let me move this back a bit. Don't worry about clicking it in in any shape or form. Make sure you've got your front and your back the right way around. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah. What am I doing, guys? There I am, yes, because there's all the, the knobs and the slots for your jacks and stuff. So I'm just going to bring this over. And as I said, front one and back one. So the rear. Nice and gentle. And I'll just a nice gentle but firm push down and it's slotted in. Sorry, I can't show you right inside. Nice gentle but firm slot down. Again, maybe hold it with your head and just get that slot in place. And down she goes. Look at that. Beautiful. And then the third one, guys. Be careful this one because sometimes when you're clipping this in and out. It popped out on me and I didn't even realize as I was trying to put it back together, I just managed just to, to pop out. And when I put it back together, I realized something drastic was wrong and that's clipped in as well. There's no space now at all. So once that's done, you do the reverse of what I said earlier, which is to try and slot it over the gain knob, which is there, very, very tight but she will go, pop it down, so it's into the gain knob first, then clip it over, push it all the way, and then she'll click in just like that, and like that. And now it's all ready to rock and roll. So let's put the screws back in, 16 screws back in the slot. <coughs> One thing to note, guys, there's a little nipple on the cable clips. See the, see the little nipple on there? And there's a little hole above the screw hole. So you just get that little nipple to pop into there and then away to go. Okay, guys? Oh, does that help if I put the screw in the right way around? Dum, 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 dee, 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 dum, dum, dee, dee, do, do, do. Dum, dum, dum. <clears throat> Then guys, get that, and it's going back on this. Now, just be aware that on the little prong that comes out, there's a, a flat spot, and you will see in there as well, there's a flat spot. It's difficult to show you. So you've got to feel it round until you know that's on there, and then push it firm on, and there's your knob. All done. So now, because we want this on a stand, take hold of your thing. Dum dum dum, dee 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 dum, dum a dee 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 dum, dum dum dum, dee 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 dum, dum a dee dee dum dum dum, dum dum dum, dee 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 dum, dee 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 dee, dum dum dum, dee 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 dum. So guys, two gigabyte, useless, as about as much use as an ashtray on a motorbike, now moved up to 16 gigabyte, which will take at least a good set list. I'm going to experiment of how much 
um, how many songs I'll be able to put on there. I have tried and I've got all the Roland songs on, sounds and their songs. Plus, I think I've put six songs on and I've used about uh, three or five percent of the card. So I'm hoping that it is, there is literally just plenty, 16. So I won't put too much memory in, it's just simply not required. Stick with 16, maybe 32 at tops. But if 16 is sufficient and you only use half of it, then why go anymore? Just get a decent SD card. Don't listen to all the garbage, it has to be a particular type. A good quality SD card. I'll tell you something about that, guys. Most of these things come up with the same factories, okay? Factories will make these and they'll put different labels on depending on what manufacturer so or what uh, company. It's mostly packaging. So don't get too wrapped up with all of that. A lot of this stuff all comes up with the same stuff. All the controls, all the motherboards, everything. They just contract them and out they go. So let's go and put this back together then onto the computer and see if we got any sort of life. So what we need to do is to update that um, SIM card or um, microchip or blinking egg, what you call these guys, SD card. Sorry about that. <coughs> so let's start that again, eh?